I was really blessed to grow up in a, a spirit-filled Christian home with great parents, so um, thankfully I didn't come to this conference packing too many critters, um, but I was packing a few more than I expected. I used to work uh, for a bank, worked in an office on a computer all day, and I developed a lot of pain in my wrist and my uh, upper back, lower shoulder area. And at various points, almost every night, the pain would just shoot through my wrist for a few seconds at a time. Then it would go away for several minutes. Um, but by, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday night, that pretty much stopped. And I haven't had any pain there since. Uh, also, I developed really bad shin splints from working on concrete floors and stuff and just uh, being foolish and not wearing the right footwear. And um, that I haven't had a problem with that stuff any this week, uh, so I believe that that's fully healed. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And um, on the night you were talking about control, and we were going through the deliverance for controlling spirits and everything associated with that, um, it felt like, um, well, I, I just try to paint a picture for you. Imagine someone digging down in the ground with a shovel and then finding a root and then grabbing a hold of that root and just started to crank on it and rip it out. I felt like something was being ripped out of my chest wow. um, the entire time, and it was really painful. Um, but I just sat there and, and kept thanking Jesus for it. So uh, I, I have faith that whatever that was is gone. Um, also, I, I don't really know how or what point, but I got exposed to um, pornography and you know sexual uh, immorality. Um, at a young age, um, I don't know exactly what the gate was, but it's always been a struggle for me to, to focus my mind on the Lord. Uh, that stuff would just always attack me, and at night, and I, it was just a constant struggle. Um, pretty much all this week, uh, that that's not been a struggle. Those thoughts have not been. The way only way I can describe it before is it was it literally felt like shots were just being shot into yeah. my head, and I had no control over it, no matter what I did. So that's all gone. Um, also, before, even though I was raised in church, um, there was, I think it had to do with something with the occult spirit, because I would show up at church and didn't matter how much sleep I had the night before, how much Starbucks or, yeah. you know, Red Bull I drank, I just, that is, you know, start yeah. falling asleep as soon as someone would start talking about the Lord. But if they started talking about any other subject to me, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Well, um, I was struggling until you started talking about the occult, and my focus and clarity has been really just just there. The fog is not there. It's easy for me to pay attention. Um, also, before, even though I was raised in church, I didn't really um, have this this hunger to study the Word. I didn't. Uh, it was really kind of like I had to force myself. But as this week has progressed, there's been a hunger and a desire oh, growing more good. and more to good. search out the Lord and yeah. strengthen my relationship uh, with Him. So, um, there's probably more, but that's all I can remember. Wow. Woo.